we all know that it's really, really, really hammered into us that there's a law of conservation of energy which prohibits the type of inventions that, that we're talking about on the most extreme end of the, of the spectrum. But what they're not looking at is that we're not talking about perpetual motion machines that create energy out of nothing, that, that, that uh, miraculously overcome the laws of physics. We're talking about tapping into a previously unknown source of energy of some sort. And in that way, it's not violating any law of conservation of energy that says you can't get more output than the electrical or, or motion input. Um, so we have a certain little tiny, tiny, tiny electrical input into some of these circuits, for example, and then the output is, is in the thousands of watts, enough to actually do work, you know, power device or uh, light bulbs, or in the case of, uh, of the future um, iterations of this, it will... <laughs> well, we've all heard about atomic energy and, and nuclear energy, and you're, you're getting a lot of energy out of one atom, right? Mm -hmm. So is that what you're tapping into? No, we're not talking about the energy that comes out of splitting an atom apart, destroying an atom apart, apart and, and releasing the power of the binding forces. That's destructive and, and that's totally the opposite of the new energy technologies that I'm talking about. Uh, we're talking about working with the atom structure or working with the laws of nature on all levels and just tickling a little bit of that potential energy out of it in one way or another. So there, the atom may be uh, reconfigured, but it's in a more harmonious way. For example, um, a company called Black Flight Power is doing some sort of molecular altering um, electrochemistry. Um, it's, it's controversial as to what the theory is behind it and what's actually going on, but the fact is that they are changing somehow um, what they, the result they get out of, of uh, dealing with water so that an atom is in a different form or is affected differently than in standard physics and that the end result is more power output than, than it took to create the reaction. Way more power output. A really, really useful amount of power output. output.